What's going on guys, but you're back with some mutant genetic gladiators. So let's get into this day. We're gonna be doing PvP season 124. Barely started, we got 13 days left. And uh yeah, this last season we got up to experts, which is just the tokens because I didn't need the character and I don't feel like going for Grandmaster. But um this season, same thing again. We do have a new character, ED404. So if you didn't get it last time, I believe it was PvP. No, it might have been PvE. I can't remember what, what they give it away in, but they did give this character away a while back. And you do need it for Research 9. The lines that it's in aren't too great. I believe it's like a deluxe zone and like credits or something like that. So it's not the best, but if you don't have it, you might as well get it now for free and get that top 3%. Unfortunately for me, don't actually need it. So I don't know. I guess we can just go for this again uh i don't know if you guys have been experiencing this at all but yeah i keep getting this i don't know um i really want to play pvp but for like i don't know the past month or two now i don't know it started last year though but yeah hopefully they fix that because that is getting really really annoying when it crashes like that and you can't actually play pvp because um, like they do have the quests out as well, if you guys didn't know. And some of those requests require you to play PvP. So if you can't actually play it, you can't actually get it done. You can't get the rewards. And it just becomes a big hassle like now where I have to reload everything yet again just to get back in. And probably I'm about 90% sure it's going to crash yet again. Because it usually crashes... I don't know about 10 times before you can actually get it to work sometimes it works right away um i was hoping it would work this time it worked for a second there but i don't know there's something about the like when you go into the fight i don't know if it's the characters you go up against i don't know what the bug is but it's kind of annoying and we're going to get it yet again so yeah, this is basically what we're dealing with for PvP. I I don't know. I can't really play. I can try the mobile version, but usually if it's doing it on one, it's usually doing it on the other. Sometimes it doesn't, so you get pretty lucky, but it, it kind of sucks, honestly. Because it happens on both mobile and on Facebook as well, so I don't know what the bug is, but... It has to do something with the actual fight because it always happens when you're either going into the fight or you're trying to get into a fight. So, yeah, like sometimes I'll load in the opponent and then you press it and then it'll crash. So I don't know what it is, but it's pretty annoying because like it's the beginning of the season. I want to get in at least like 10 fights or something like that. But... I don't know we'll try one more time we'll see what happens all right so we got into the fight 429 hopefully it doesn't crash I'm gonna use my actual team because why not I mean uh, if it crashes uh, let's use a lower level tag I mean we'll probably use a pretty good tag but just not um not all the best ones because if it crashes we lose that tag as well so yeah like sometimes it like okay so it's probably gonna work and then it'll crash again but there is no way to know how many times this thing is gonna crash and i think i'm just gonna try to take out um we could either deal with the retaliate or we can deal with the boost he also has a heal, so if I don't one-shot him, he's going to heal back up. But let's just go for that one, honestly. I'm hoping... Okay, so I was hoping our tag was good enough for that. And then I guess we can just put in a little damage here, which will give us retaliate damage. They'll both get to attack. I'm hoping that the tag that they have isn't good or he doesn't use the tag. So far, hasn't used the tag, so we're good. But you never know. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, hopefully it works out. I don't know.
And we actually have to kill the other one. Uh, well, we'll one shot this, so. And we hit 130. So it's pretty much done. We hit 90 there as well. And, uh. Let's see what happens. 10 points. All right. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Sometimes it does like let you play once, twice, and then it'll crash. So we're hoping that doesn't happen here. All right. Let's keep going. Hopefully it doesn't do anything. 1,383. So we're going to lose this fight. The only reason I'm going to lose and not just switch it, because I could switch it because it's not that high. Uh, is because of the whole crashing thing. We don't want it to crash and sometimes just switching an opponent will cause it to crash because I don't know what the actual bug is but I'd rather play it safe and just lose the fight. You're only going to lose like 5 or 10 points. Really not that big a deal. All I have to do is get into the top 10% and we're good. So uh, I'll use the tag. It doesn't really matter if we get a heal or not. But yeah, so far PvP has been so so. I mean, it's crashed what twice now. Um, it's probably gonna continue until they fix it. I don't know when they're gonna fix it. Hopefully, they figure out what it is. I should be attacking Buck to get the retaliate off so I can kill myself. Um, yeah, hopefully they fix it pretty soon. I don't know what it is or how they would be able to fix it, but. It does get kind of annoying when you can't play PvP, and it does happen quite often, so it kind of sucks, but uh, you just got to keep trying and trying and trying. Even if it crashes like 10 times, all right, we're going to switch. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. Why are, uh, are all the people that are like freaking really high only able to play mutants PvP? Like what the heck? Because everyone's like crazy high. There we go. Yeah, there's some of the levels of like a thousand. That's insane. All right, we'll use Buffalo. Just get a little bit of experience, and we'll use the Banker as well. And then we'll use a low-level tag, and we're good. But yeah, so far, we're not really worried about it. Uh, even if I can't play a lot or anything like that, that's fine. All we have to do is get into the top ten percent. That's all that basically matters at this point. Is to get in the top 10% and get the tokens because that's the only thing I need. If I needed the mutant, then of course I would go for the mutant. Um, I know some of people are going to probably need it, especially if we barely started. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Because I don't really want to go for Grandmaster, especially with PvP like this. Like, if it's going to keep crashing, yeah, you may be able to get in a, a good amount of fights, but then it crashes and then it keeps crashing and then you can't play for like a day or two something like that happens it just makes you not want to play pvp sometimes or you miss out on getting that top one percent because if you're going top one percent uh it's better to get a couple thousand points early on and then for the final like week you can just grind it out because i noticed like the first couple of days like the, probably the first week is when all the high level players are getting a crazy amount of points and uh, you'll face them a lot, so it's better to wait a little bit and then go for it. Although you can start now, it's not that big a deal. You're just going to either have to skip a ton of fights, which does waste credits, or you're going to have to lose a ton of fights. I opt to lose fights now before I would just waste the credits, but honestly, I'd rather keep the credits for uh, leveling up my Evo, which currently costs around at 80%. I think it's uh, 300 million or something like that, so... Yeah, I'd rather do that instead of uh, wasted on refreshing. And I'm only going to lose like 5 or 10 points. And I'm not going for 1% or 3%. I have to get 10% to get the rewards I want out of PvP. So, it kind of sucks. But, that is just the way it's going to be for now. Plus, we get a little bit of experience. PvP is probably good for experience. It's just... You gotta get it to work first, and it doesn't always work. So, um, yeah, that kind of sucks. Let's actually fight this fight just to get a little bit of points. Maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. I don't know. Uh, the whole point system is pretty, 
pretty weird. Um, let's actually check their orbs. We got retaliate. We got boost. We got retaliate. Uh, I kind of don't like the surfer, but at the same time, I'm just gonna one shot Colossus because I don't want, really want to deal with him. And then uh, we can put in some damage into the other two. Uh, we're gonna take a little bit of retaliate from this guy. I'd rather not give a boost to surfer, so. I'll just take the two hits. Hopefully it does use its tag on X27. We're about to find out because it gets two attacks. There's the first one. Of course it's going to kill me. There comes the tag 100k. So it would have killed one of my other characters if it actually used it on one of those. So we lucked out on that. That guy hits us for 60 which does way more than I thought it would. But that gives us enough to kill this. We're probably going to lose Colossus because the surfer is going to take him out. But I can actually kill him with uh, Exilroth unless he hits, yeah, I was insane, unless he hits for 100k crit, which didn't happen. Uh, there goes that, and we're going to have to heal. I'm down to like 8k on the healing, on the med packs, which really sucks, honestly, because it takes forever to either craft those or make them. Um, yeah, I mean, I saved up 8k. At one point, I had like 10, but now we're down to 8, so... Uh, yeah, med packs kind of suck. Oh, we got 100 points off of that. Nice. Doesn't really matter, though. I mean, we're barely in to the first day, so it's not like we're going to get anything out of it. But I guess it does help out a little bit. And we got 666. Um, we could probably take that on, but I kind of don't want to. So, yeah. And then we get 1,200. We're definitely not taking on that. And then we get freaking 900 with... A ton of credits, 2,000 with a ton of credits. Oh my God, 4,000. Okay, we're we're wasting way too many credits. We're just gonna start losing fights because that's that's insane. There's no way I'm gonna be spending that much. I already spent about half a million on just a couple of refreshes. I think it's just better to lose. We're gonna use the tag. The only reason I'm gonna use the tag is for the achievement, which if you guys don't know, you gotta use like 50,000 tags. I'm not even close, and I've been playing forever. But I do want to get it just to get it, honestly. Um, yeah, that's basically... Oh, I should have hit... I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have just hit Colossus, got the retaliate, and then would have killed myself. But there it is. We're going to lose this. It doesn't really matter, though. The points aren't that big a deal right now. Plus 10% is pretty easy. I got last season, I think I got top like 5 or 6%, and I didn't even play. So... Yeah, it's really not that hard to get into at least the token range. Uh, everything beyond that, like if you're going for the character and everybody else is going for the character, it gets a little bit harder. Like Jainsaw, that one was a little bit tough. Because um, a ton of people wanted her and the points, instead of being somewhat a little bit low, they actually went up quite a bit. I don't know about this character, if everybody needs it or not, but... Look at that, 8,042. At one point I had 10k. So yeah, healing does suck. They do need to figure out a way to get the healing, the like the uh, double, what is it? Quadruple regeneration and I think it's double regeneration or something like that. They need to get those to work a lot better than they are currently. It needs to like scale with your character or your evil level or something. Cause right now it gets like 20 HP per, per second. But when you have, let's say, 100k, that's a lot of ex a lot of HP to recover. We got the captain. He's got EXP on, and then he's got the boost with the retaliate. Um, I honestly don't know who to take down here. I mean, these two are gonna suck, but I think I just take down Colossus. Not worry about it. And we get a pretty bad tag, but it still had enough damage to take it down. So as long as it took it down, it wasn't that bad. And then he's going to take down Exilaroth, it looks like. So we're going to take down this thing, hopefully. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. And he kills me. Damn it. Uh, we should... Hmm... There's no way to... We're going to have to hit him. If he kills... Uh, if he kills him, this is going to suck. I should have... 
Should have planned this out a little bit better. We're going to have to take him down. And I think we lost. No, we might not have lost. He, he survived. Although the retaliate's going to kill him now. At least I'll get a little bit of damage into him. And then he's going to attack once. And we should kill him, thank god. Yeah, that thing's annoying. Oh, he's only hitting for 20. Even if he hit multiple times, he would have been fine. Plus, retaliate damage on me would have killed him, so... Never mind. We're fine. We're good. And there we go. Yeah, BVP this season, for me anyway, probably just going to be about leveling. Well, that one I should have just used different characters, but I want to keep refreshing like this. Look at this. 365k credits, which... I mean, granted, I get millions of credits a day, so it's not that big a deal, but it does add up, especially if you're gonna play PvP for like three, four, five hundred fights or something like that. That stuff adds up, so yeah, we're just gonna lose again, which kinda sucks, but I, I have to. There's just no way around it. I have to just lose. At least we get off a tag on this one, though. And uh, let's check the credits, our credits, orbs. Uh, interesting setup there. They're not really set up too well, but we will use the tag because we're not worried about the mutants. I mean, they'll get their health back over time and I'm never going to use these mutants. It's just to lose the fight real quick, lose a little bit of points, which is perfectly fine with me as well. Yeah, losing the fight isn't as bad as you think. You don't actually lose anything besides points. And then you, when you win, you gain credits and you gain fame. So yeah, some people think, oh, you're losing fights and stuff like that. Why? Might as well. I don't want to pay 100k credits for nothing. Like basically the only thing it does is refresh when I could have saved that 100k. Because it does add up. Imagine how many times I've refreshed over the time I've been playing and add that up i probably spent upwards probably of a billion uh, i probably hit a billion credits on just refreshing opponents because that's how much i refresh when i'm making videos because uh, normally i would just keep refreshing even though it costs like a crazy amount just for the video so it's not like this but lately i i just been like eh, i might as well just lose it's not that big a deal um, you don't actually lose anything besides the points. If you're trying to go for something with the points, then I guess it would be something, but I, I don't want to keep refreshing like these opponents. It, it's not worth it. Like the amount of times I've lost already, what is almost a million credits ready that we saved and it doesn't actually cost me anything. So, well, besides loss in a couple of seconds or minutes depending on uh, how long this actually takes to get done so I, I does that but I can't control the opponents I get so hopefully we'll uh, get somebody that's a lot less with the sum of levels on the next one but yeah that's basically all we're doing we're just getting points I mean we're in the top 15% I still have like 13 days, so it's not like we're in a rush or anything like that. Plus, I could play PvP for like a couple of hours or something like that, so it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, we lost 1%, but let's say I fight one person and get back 100 points. There we go. We, we did all that for 100 points. See, look at this. 1,800 and then 300k credits. Like, the amount of... Uh, the amount of credits I would have had to spend just to refresh those few times is insane so I think they should do it a little bit differently and like have like a tiered system like the first refresh cost always a certain amount let's say 10,000 credits or whatever but the more you f you refresh it adds up to millions of credits or whatever if you want to go that far but then when you find an opponent it resets so that way or maybe if you fight two or three opponents, then it resets or something. So it helps with the credits. Because sometimes the amount of 
credits to refresh is insane. I've seen millions of credits to refresh on some of these guys. Which, why would you spend that? That's insane. That's like spending, what, uh, 100 plus passes? Because you can actually go buy passes with those credits. So, yeah, I don't know. It's... It's honestly up to the person that's actually playing. Well, whatever they want to do is basically what's going to happen. So, I don't know. I don't mind losing, honestly. It's better to lose and save your credits because you could actually use those credits for passes or whatever you want to go and get. Should I use my tag? I'm going to use my tag. Um, yeah, you could use those. And really, that tag didn't do anything. We might actually lose this fight. Um... Hmm. Actually, I'm going to hit this thing. But, yeah, I would rather save that 100k. Because, what, 25? Or is it 20 passes? Costs like 200,000. 200, so, refresh or passes? Uh, I would rather pick the passes because it's a lot better. I thought he was going to hit a lot harder than he is. Look at that, 17? Really? There's no way he's going to take down either of these two. Yeah, we lost this fight. I should have stuck to one. If I would have hit X27 with either of these two and stayed on the same one, then I would have been perfectly fine. But, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to win this one. I mean, I could take down this. And if he kills me on this next one, then we lose, I think. No. If that retaliate damage would have killed him, that would have been perfect. I have to kill him. He's going to kill me. Yeah, we lost. 40,000? you got to be kidding me. He's going to kill me. Oh, well. We're going to lose. It doesn't... Yeah, there's no way. Unless it hits me for like a little bit. But even its base damage is going to be a lot. Yeah. Crit? Maybe a crit. A crit could save me. A crit could definitely save me. Because it would definitely hit for at least 36. But we don't get a crit. We get just strong. Yeah, if I would have played that different and had X X27 attack just one target, we would have actually won that fight. But um, yeah, that was that was on me. But it's fine. It, it's not that big a deal. It's only like five points or some shit like that. Which is another loss. Twenty points on that one. Damn it. Although we did gain a hundred points earlier, so we're actually up ninety. All right, well we'll use a little bit better. Uh, we, sh we should have, instead of using the Banker, we should have used Colossus and then Buffalo. I don't know why I thought I would use Banker, because I kind of want to level up the Banker as well, but uh, yeah, that was a bad play on my part. So we'll do one more fight. Uh, this one, we are going to take down this, and then we'll focus on Warina and then uh, Surfer, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, this should... This should work. Uh, hopefully he takes down X27. Tag, 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 tag. No tag, damn it. Anytime they don't use a tag, they could still use it on the next one. So, I just got to watch out for that. And I'm just going to hit... Yeah. Uh, should... Oh, I don't know. Should I? I don't remember how much. I'm pretty sure Colossus hit will will hit for 81 on this. But do I want to be safe? Yeah, let's just go for it. If I messed up the amount it's gonna hit for, that was on me, I guess. Oh, thank God! I only hit for 160 with the crit. He did get the brutal, and see, he can still use his tag. So. That's what I was talking about. It doesn't matter if they didn't use it. And the retaliate damage killed it. Or the bleed damage or whatever the hell was on it. So there we go. We got some experience. Uh, 45k. Which almost got us a level. We get 10 points back. We get almost 60k credits. 8,000 fame. So it is worth it. It doesn't matter if you lose. As long as you just keep fighting in PvP. And play PvP. It's better to play PvP than actually go do the divisions currently. So... Um, yeah, if you guys are trying to level, PvP is the best spot. Even if you're losing a ton and stuff like that, just keep going at it and you will get enough experience at some point. Um, 
either leveling up your characters or leveling up your actual fame stuff like that so that's gonna be about it for this one um i will try to do more pvp and stuff like that but we'll see and we'll talk to you guys later